Kia ora from Aotearoa, it's Poppy speaking here with the current ninth wave energy of the sacred Mayan calendar and it's actually 13 Eagle today and I am doing this one as a special one really just feeling the energies that are here and how much pressure so many people are probably under including myself so 13 Eagle and I desire to encourage the rising above the surface levels of our experiences today, especially myself included. It's the final day of the night Dracaena, and this is our dream time and meditation space where we connect with the will of Mother Earth and bring it forth in our lives. We have to rise above the whole satanic regime we have had to endure to survive, remember and heal from in order to reclaim our souls and assist in midwifing ourselves and our planet through this period of time and we're just about at the end of this day wave which is this midwifery energy that is what it's all about so many of us have reclaimed our souls by connecting living and holding our ground the separated powers have been seeking violently and savagely is that's their way of dividing, reducing, diminishing and separating to reap the harvest of human souls. I mean, I mean they've been doing all sorts of stuff with, with the weather, flooding out food, uh, taking out factories, they've um, doing all of these things so that whenever a, a, humans have started to band together and create and, and do these things in their communities, it's been seen and, and, and attacked. And this is just part of what they do. So we need to rise above it all and see the grand perspective of this showdown. And yes, it's a show. However, it is one that poisons, depletes food sources, pollutes our environments, ravages the vulnerable, chews them up and spits them out if and when they can. But we are not victims unless we yield. In divine connection with Mother Earth and Father Sky, like intermediaries joined by the two, it's possible to rise above it, no matter what our circumstances, and I know the brunt of them. As we rise up, now we are rising with others, even though we may not be flying directly alongside. The traumatic errors of separation will leave us completely as we find the divine guidance to fly free of them. So keep up the great work, sheltering and finding places of refuge as they are needed yes this is true faith in action knowing with certainty that in the divine will of mother earth and the divine time of father sky we will break through we will find restoration the vulnerable will no longer be marginalized people's basic needs plus will be met with ease because we have remained true to the divine plan and so it is. And the images today are of golden eagles. They're my personal favourite. Here in Aotearoa, where I live, the eagle is extinct. We will find balance too when the eagle, symbolising the masculine of the north, and the condor, symbolising the feminine of the south, fly together on equal wings as prophesied. And this is the day wave which started in a new moon in 10 storm of the planetary midwife energy, the end of Tresina night where we have been plumbing the depths of our consciousness and birthing our solutions, and near the end of a nine day phase, six star, which is a frequency uptick. And of course, when we have a frequency uptick, equal and opposite forces always have their thing until we find our way to integrate that uptick so shine your star seeded brightness your authentic you no matter what this is the 128th ninth wave time wave of 36 solar days since the era of unity consciousness began and these messages are gleaned mostly from meditation with Papa Tuanuku Mother Earth and rely on ancient remembrance accessed from her knowledge encoded within my DNA we may all access such remembrance. Thank you so much to everyone joining me on the sacred task of birthing unity because we really, really, really need each other. This is our chance. We've had other chances at this time, which we haven't done, but this time we will make it. 
I believe in you, I believe in me, I believe in the divine plan. In Lakesh, I am another you. So much love.